Hello, my name is Dan, and I'm a recovering milkaholic. I first discovered I had a problem a few years ago. I remember I was hanging out with some friends one night. We were all having a good time, drinking milk. I must have had at least five glasses of 2% when I decided to call it a night. At that point, I was feeling pretty calcinated, and my friends were telling me not to drive home. But I thought I could do it, you know? It was only a few blocks. I should have listened to them, because that night, I got into a nearly fatal car accident. I was in the hospital for four weeks, and as soon as I got out, I went right back to drinking milk. I've been Dan's roommate for a few months now. We went to the same school together growing up. I was actually with him on the night he got into that car accident. It was really weird because Dan was drinking glasses of milk the whole night, and he was the only one doing it. Had I known he would have crashed into that tree at 15 miles per hour, I never would have let him drive that night. After I got out of the hospital, not only did I go back to drinking milk, I was drinking more than ever. At first I would only buy in quarts, but I quickly moved up to half gallons, and by the end of the month, I would be carrying a gallon of milk wherever I went. I would drink 2%, chocolate, skim, even almond milk. I didn't care. I was addicted. Whenever I'd hang out with Dan, he always wanted to go to the grocery store. I'd tell him, Dan, we just went yesterday. And he'd be like, I know, but they're having a sale on soy milk. I felt like I didn't know him anymore. You know, they say don't cry over spilled milk. I know it's just an expression, but I literally had to hold back tears when someone wasted even a drop of milk. One night I was at a party, and I saw in their fridge was a gallon of milk that was three weeks past its expiration date. Someone came over and was like, oh, that's old, let me throw that out, but I couldn't let them. I finished off the gallon, and as soon as I did, I had a stomach ulcer. They rushed me to the ER, and once again, I was in the hospital. But this time, the doctor told me that if I ever drank expired milk again, I might not be so lucky. I don't think this guy will make it to the end of the month. That was a real wake up call. And I decided that I had two options. Either stop drinking milk altogether or die. And it was a really tough decision, you know, cause why would I want to live if I couldn't drink milk? But looking back on it, I'm glad I decided to quit. I've been letting Dan stay at my place until he can get back on his feet, but only on the condition that he doesn't drink milk. He's been doing really good so far. He's even eating cereal without milk. It's really impressive. Hey, dude, are you sure you don't want some milk? I mean, I don't care if it's just cereal. Nah, I'm good. Suit yourself. At this point, I don't think I'll ever go back to drinking milk. I don't miss it. I don't owe it anything. I'm just done with milk. I feel like I've gained control of my life again, and to me, that's priceless. Which is really nice right now, because I've spent thousands of dollars fueling a milk addiction over the past year. Okay, it is 2 a.m. and Dan has been making noises in the kitchen for over an hour now. I don't care what he's doing, he's got to stop it. Dan, uh, what's going on? Uh, Why are you covered in milk? Uh, it's not what it looks like. You are covered in milk and there is a gallon right next to you. I can explain. That's it. I want uh, you out of this house right now. No, please don't. I'm sorry. Nope, just get out. Uh. We had a deal and you broke it. Uh, I cannot believe uh, this. You are the sorriest excuse for a man I've ever uh, seen.